Coronation Street is all at sea with Pat Fell and Plot, says Ian Highland. If you were left scratching your head at tonight's action, and the eternal question of whether Felon will ever die, you are not alone. Coronation Street writers really know how to wind up soap fans don't they? On Monday night they left us with Pat Felon, risen from the dead and stitching up an arsy gash on his leg. Last night? Coy was delivered without Felon. Is he actually alive or are we dealing with a ghostman Pat scenario here? If so he'll be needing that red van back. If he is alive, how did he survive that fall into the ICC? If his B&B &B is in Ireland, how the heck at effect did he get there? Is the B&B &B owner even Irish? Or is she one of the Whitehaven players working on a Mrs. Doyle from Father Ted tribute act? And how did a cowboy builder like Pat thread that sewing needle in the half-light first time of asking? One question that doesn't need an answer is why he's back. There's not much else to keep us going. The fallout from David's rape isn't delivering the promised drama. Craig's OCD seems to have been squeezed in as backstage crusaders continue their bid to have Coy renamed Mental Health Street. And Devon Chesney's fish-based comedy was so contrived I'm surprised there wasn't carry-on backing music. Still, Eileen's time in that police cell has messed up her fringe. So we can end on a positive, positive.